uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, of you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you like, and if indeed, if you're doing it too, welcome to channel. A bushka. Ah, uh, yes, indubitably. Um, this is the Cran Wagen, Hagen Wagen, the, the Wagen does, the best ice cream flavor ever produced by Sweden. Um, oh, I don't know what level that works on, if it even works, who cares? I'm old and that's my YouTube channel. I am driving a bunch of tanks that I've never really driven before. And I noticed a lot of these in the game and then I started trying to kill them. And I realized that I was like the second coming of the IS-7 back when no one had penetrations. And uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And I don't think this is gonna be a surprise review to anybody. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure Meadsy and Fatness and you know, all the others have covered this stuff. I mean, it's probably hates it because she's a bit of a purist and uh, my mate Skate, if he was in the game, he'd be driving this thing 24 seven, loved a bit of easy claps. Uh, the Skate of Rooney. Um, this thing is a monster. I was, very pleasantly surprised when I drove it. <laughs> that it was kind of OP. Uh, this is the kind of heavy that I can get behind. And by get behind, I mean I can really roll up behind this heavy <laughs> and not worry about getting hit because it was stopping everything in front of it. To have a hull down heavy with a turret this big is a hell of a surprise. Um, and this turret really, really stops around. I am very rusty right now. I've had some good games. I've had some absolute Barry Crockers, uh, but this thing made up for me being bad in a way that really, really satisfied me on a molecular level. The Kranwagen Hagen Dagen, I mean, I should have put this Waffle McTractor away down here well and truly well before I did. And I bled a lot of hit points that I probably could have used later on by screwing around down here getting my feet wet in the water but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about this beautiful bit of pale blue and oh god don't don't waste your round bushka don't waste your round oh he's outdriven you you've wasted your round he's baited you and you're about to eat one in the front oh that hurt 752 hey well that that probably won't be i probably won't need those hit points later Let's see if I do. Um, this thing is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the thing I like the most about it is the, not the armor, it's the auto reloader. After driving, because I drove those idiot things up there, the tier nine yo and the tier 10 yo, the tier eight yo, uh, quite a bit lately, because obviously it was an update. And I love YouTube views and people love update tanks. So I was driving them. Um, and I really don't like their setup of autoloaders. The drum magazine, the the magazine that I'm using here is so easy and simple and works for dummies like me just beautifully. Look at it bounce. Stick that in your three shot, 13 second, 900 alpha pocket buddy. God, I wish I had those waffle tractor hit points back now. That'll teach me to drive like a potato. Um, the reason I love it is because you fire and then the biggest decision you have to make is do I fire again or do I let the reload happen? Because obviously the reload happens at different speed for different shells. Shell one is 11.25 seconds, shell two is 8.91, and shell three is 9.38. And that means even while you're just reversing and positioning, the gun is reloading and that is just bloody lovely it's absolutely gorgeous and it's perfect for situations like this where you don't really have to make decisions on whether you go for a full magazine reload or not and oh my god i missed some shots here there's one shot missed one shot missed and i mean i've got to drive the t110e5 now because the t110e5 seems to have been buffed into the role of very very good tank uh now he's a one shot Surely I can get this done. I'm backing up to get it done. I load the heat. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that didn't pen, did it? It's two shots missed, and uh, that's disappointing. And brah, says the E75. I mean, I did my level best. I did a lot of good things, but 
I feel like I let the tank down, not the tank let me down, if I'm being honest. 5,000 damage, and uh, it felt like felt like losing, and certainly looks like losing on the screen. So it's got a 120 millimeter as well. So 400 alpha, but you got 515 on your HE. The pen, I'm running the uh, penetration module because it has heat. 271 millimeters of pen on the APs and 374 millimeters of heat on your primary heat round, on your promo round. This is a much better game. And this is something I loved. I was running this son as an Aussie there. I'm guessing he's an Aussie. It's called Vegemite Tanker. So I reckon he would be an Aussie. Um, and we're, we're in trouble here because they have pushed the hill. We're already a tank down. There's an STB on our right. And that's a Badger. And I've gone, oh God, I forgot that the Badger has a lot of armors. And then while I'm doing all that, the STB hits me. And that's basically, again, just being a noob and bleeding too many hit points. But we get it together. The IS-7 gives too much side. And this is where I can see how these things would be so dominant in professional and competition. Because you can see me in this Vegemite tanker. We just drop down the hill and we absorb the hit. And then we just keep rumbling. We just keep rumbling. And they kind of think that this this side is theirs. All they got to do is roll up. And it's like, yeah, this isn't going to happen for you boys and girls. We're just holding. And uh, I love this tank for this. It's so strong. I'm There's some tanks I've found that I haven't been super happy with. Uh, that I've been kind of disappointed with. But there's so many things in the game that I'm loving right now. I love the shell holes, uh, the, obviously the bullet markers and things that, oh, hang on, we've been flanked, there's a 263 over there, great, that's great. I've got to go back and drive the YOLO wagon again, I think this may well have been another victim of power creep. Uh, there's been a lot of tanks that I want to go back and drive because it feels like they're just not a shadow of their former glory. I can't wait to give the T-54 mod one a go. I reckon that thing is going to be rubbish. Overmatching the sides on the 263, something a lot of people don't do, but it's there for one and all if you feel it. They are not very thick. Um, yeah, the Kranwagen, Hagen, Dagen. What a machine. What a lovely little bit of justice and innuendo. I'm giving this Super Conqueror Rex a crack as well. Now, the gun on this is 0 0.330. Is not amazing but gee it's it's on the low end of the spectrum in terms of disappointing uh like i was expecting so much higher in terms of dispersion mm. i thought being a 120 i might be able to sneak uh i'm trying to cover off the front turret of my amigo there veggie my tanker i thought being a 120 it might be able to actually he there but just hit the gun module and it took all the stuff the 215B, I'm very worried about my date now. Um, and I feel like I've got to go over here and have a crack at the 215B just because uh, it's three on four, but Vegemite's got no hit points. And if they come around the back and I have to turn, then it could all go tits up very, very quickly. So I'm expecting, there he is. Oh, GI is holding heat. That's the wrong thing to be holding. Get the heat out, buddy. There we go, APCR. Happy days. Let's go back in the APCR. Now, I've always been under the impression that there is a weak spot right at the top here, but I missed it, and then I missed it again. Um, that's because I'm bad. Like, I'll, I'll get better. I'll get better. Uh, I mean, I'll get better. I'll get better. Right through the drive wheel. Thanks very much. And this is a better game than the first game, even though it's nowhere near as much damage. This feels to me like a much better game, and this is the kind of game that this tank is just built for and i look at the map and i think Ooh. i don't want to go frontal with that badger again 540 hit points I'm not sure where the two 263 is maybe i can sneak up and catch the badger napping on the uh crest of the hill here and even while he turns i could maybe get the ho re to finish him off i mean the ho re's running around with three million Pen on its promo round and it's still doing 540. Oh, but then the grill goes down and it's me and the Ho Re versus the 263. I can see that the Badger is there. Come on, baby. Go quicker. Oh, I needed to hit that drive wheel. He's going to get away. He gets away with it. Uh, 
are you, cheeky monkey? And I try and be sneaky. Whole position says the Ho-Ree's calling the shots. I'm happy for him to be an assertive and dominant human being. And I'm looking, what about with heat? Can we do it with heat? Maybe. Maybe just there. I don't know where that went. I have no idea where that went. If you could tell me, that'd be great. That'd be good. If you could tell me, uh, that'd be good. Anyway, uh, the Ho-Ree does a yeoman's effort here. He does really good. And this is the kind of game that I love for Blitz. And this is the kind of tank that you get these kind of games in. You are the muscle. You really can bounce a lot of shots and do a lot of good for your team. There he is. Get the heats. Get the heats. When in doubt, promo it out. <laughs> I mean, really? Uh, I got no crimes about firing promo. If you don't like it, go and watch some other YouTube channel. I'll live. Um... He couldn't angle to that many tanks at one time. Nice, uh, cheeky flank there. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'm really happy to be having this tank in the garage. Look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. And as always, uh, bye for now. Au revoir. Etc. Etc. Good work, the Aussies. And the Ho-Ree, too. Well done. An object. Big game on the flank. 4.5k.